Hey everybody, at BV Matson here. I think it's time we dig into this pile of rubble back here, see what we can find. She's been sitting for a little while, got a nice coating of dust on it. Plugged in the trickle charger. We'll let this sit for a little while. I've been seeing a little bit of a battery error popping up. The battery's from 2018, so we'll see if we get lucky today. And I missed covering up the fender, so we got a dusty, dusty mess here. Let's pull the cover off. See how the old girl's doing. Be nice to get her running today. There she is, 1970 CB350. Get off of there. Let's take a little look at her. Doesn't look too bad where I had her covered up. This is such a sweet bike. All right, let's see if we can roll this old girl out. A little bit of air in the tires yet. Got my wheel chalk in the front. Get that out of there. Just like that. Here we go. It's making me sad seeing this thing so dusty and dirty. Gotta wash this thing off. And let's blow some of this off of here. Sorry, I've neglected you, babe. Oh, let's get some soapy water going. Give her a good wash. All right, she's already looking a lot more pleased with me. At this point, it's got her dried off. Get her back on the charger. All right, it's looking a lot better now. It's saying it's still charging. So, fingers crossed. Might as well get some air in these tires. They're pretty low. 26 in the front, 28 in the back. Yep, I'd say these are a little low. And we call that right on the nuts. Perfect on the front too. Giddy up. Just want to check, make sure I got oil in it. Looks like we got oil in it. Nice clean. Doesn't look too bad. Probably the hardest part of the whole endeavor so far this morning was finding this key. It was buried in my box in my office. A little Honda CB tag on it, an original key, which is pretty cool. Let's uh, go ahead and put this in. And now we wait, let's charge. I'm really curious if this thing's actually gonna run. The gas in the tank is about a year old. Uh, it was treated with stable, so I'm hopeful there. Really charging's my big, uh, big issue, but hopefully, ideally, we flip the choke, turn the key, turn on the pet cock, hit the button and see what happens. Clutch still feels pretty good. Front brake feels really good. Just wanna make sure we got action down there. Looks good. Double check rear brake, rear brake arm. That's hooked up, working good. Pulling that drum. Gotta say it cleaned up really good. Just dust, nothing crazy. This old chrome still looking really, really nice. CMC mufflers still holding up. Again, this was rebuilt in 2018. So it's been a while on this restoration, but it's looking pretty minty. I'm excited. I hope we get it running. It's really tempting to give it a whirl right now, but I'm just gonna walk away for a bit, let the battery tender do its thing. All right, been waiting a while. Let's test lights. All right, both the clusters are on. We got blinky blinky. Blinky blinky and blinky blinky. Blinky blinky. Blinky blinky. Good to see. All right, let's test our brake light. Pumping the front brake. We got light. Pumping the back. We're good there. I say let's give it a roll. Let's open the pet cock. We got fuel going in. All right, we're going to come over here. I'm going to turn my choke on. Flip that up, go key on, hop up here, kill switch on. Let's see what happens. Wow. Get that choke off. I just reached down there, turn that choke off. <laughs> Not bad for a cold start. Let's see if we got both sides. Yeah. 
Left is running. Right is running. Wow. 70 CB 350 lifts again. I am telling you. I'm pretty impressed by how easy that was. I had my doubts for some reason. But she going, man. She back up in service. And just to confirm, we got headlight, low beam, and high beam. This thing's rock solid. I'm gonna turn it off for now while she's charging. All right, let's take this thing out. Oh, I turned it off. There we go. All right, let's take her around the block a little bit. See if she runs. All right. Yeah, running a little weird right now. meter on them so you could actually see what the hell is going on yeah she's bogging bogging a little bit old gas maybe I don't know a little boggy like she should rip out of first. Just trying to track down to see if I do have low battery. So I've got it taken off of the tender right now. Got my voltmeter out. Battery looks good. I mean, I'm looking at 12.96. It's a 12 volt battery. It's a little high, but battery should be good. Just for the hell of it, I'm gonna see what happens when I turn the key on and start it up. mean it's probably not a charging problem or a battery problem just in case I'm gonna put that tender back on could be just old cruddy gas it's been in there for a while you know that gas is probably pretty old now that I think about it sure I parked it a year ago but I probably bought the rec fuel early in that season so the gas is probably going on could be a couple years yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the tank get some fresh gas in See if that helps things along. That's gonna be pretty easy to do with my little super siphon. This is gonna work out great. Let's see what's going on here. It can't hurt. This will be good lawnmower gas at the end of the day. Let's get the gas out. Gas actually looks really clean coming out of here. It's not yellowed or anything. Looks good. We'll see. We'll see. We're just gonna try it. Can't hurt. It's the least path of resistance right now. Just like that, that's gonna get the majority of the gas out. All right, let's put some fresh gas in. Hopefully, this will get us where we need to be. Can't hurt. All right, fresh gas in the tank. All right, let's see. Let's run it just for a little bit. Gas on. Starts right up. Got a green light on my charger now, which is awesome. I'll let that run up for a little bit. She's actually sounding pretty good. Just idling. I don't know 
know if it gets much better than that. I guess there's really only one way to find out. She's purring like a kitten right now. Uh, let's see how this goes. Get her under some power. There, that's better. That's better. She's feeling like a motorcycle again. Go down and back till we get some trust in what we're doing here. Kind of want to stay close to home though because not sure. She's feeling pretty good right now though. There she's sounding like a 350. She's sounding like a 350 again. When you're riding these old vintage bikes, though, I'm telling you, a lot of times it's just butt pucker the whole time you're riding because you're just kind of waiting to break down sometimes. If you know, you know. Right now, I want to get some RPMs going through it. Let's keep it charging. These things, allegedly, they have a very paltry charging system on them. This little Honda runs nice right now. Hope she just kind of keeps running nice. I'm gonna go for a little loop. And just kind of see what happens. Sometimes you just gotta go. Sometimes it doesn't always end well. One more and we'll let her rip. in the carbs at this point too. But I didn't notice a huge difference. I'll put that gas in my lawnmower, see how it runs. There we go. 360 coverage with the 70 CV 350. She seems to be running nice and strong right now. Man, these bikes just, they sit so nice and they're, they are really responsive. Like just, Compared to the Scram, it's just such a different riding experience. I kind of forgot how different they are. Uh, these classic bikes, they do just put kind of a smile on your face in a bit of a different way than a new bike. Let her rip, let's go, baby, woo -hoo All right, chill out. Yeah, I think honestly, it might have just been charged. It needed a good charge. It did get to green light. And then I think draining the tank, putting some fresh fuel in, I think that helped a lot. Because right now, it's just ticking right along. All right, she is holding idle really nicely right now, right around 1100. And I am not finicking about this at all. Go by the biker bar. house out here. I'm going to stop by. Ran 
brand new house, an A-frame house, and it is really nice. Here's that house. Look at this house. Look at this house. Yeah. That is a freaking awesome house. Not gonna lie, that 1970 CB350 just had an incredible first run of 2024. She needs some polish, she needs some wax. We gotta clean this thing up just a little bit. But man, it ran like a top on this last trip. I actually got a little bit of trust in it. I think this is kind of where I quit while I'm ahead. I hope you enjoyed the ride today. Hope you enjoyed the video. This was just something a little bit different trying to get my enthusiasm back up for these classic motorcycles. I think it was mission accomplished. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.